Okay. Here we have the initial. It's 200 towers. Everything going right. We'll get 2,000 pounds of tomatoes a week when we got four rows of 50 towers. 10 pounds a week of tomatoes. So when all four rows are synced and everything, we'll have 2,000 pounds of tomatoes going out a week to the stores. Hopefully only one store. It's going to buy it all. But now we got three of the major food chains here. Exito, Jumbo, and Marco are all interested in these tomatoes. And I really just want to sell to one store and, and make it really simple. But here where you see all the posts, uh, all the uh, wooden stakes is where the posts go. And uh, and it's taking, the, you know, to save money, uh, we are welding the uh, washers that were drilled and uh, and then placed here uh, two feet down and uh, and then the, the planters will fall on this. This keeps the planters from going down to the bottom. Two feet of the post goes into the ground and then we got two planters at top and so here Ramira is uh, setting up a uh, a, a way to um, see how can we put it uh, so we can spray paint these instead of hand uh, hand painting is taking too long and we're going to have a job of about five days before all of the posts are done. This does take time, no question about it. And this is Ricardo, and he's the welder. He's spot welding in, on uh, four sides, four corners, you want to call it, of the uh, where the washer is meeting the uh, EMT tube, and. Uh, we cut the pipe, and we got the uh, we got the steel pipe, which is at two feet, and it's used to to force the uh, the washer, which is on a tight fit. It's beautiful, right into the. Uh, um, you get the the blue hand vocal. Okay. Okay. So we can spray paint here. Yeah, and so we're going to spray paint these babies. Uh, we were hand painting yesterday, but they're going to come out better. If we spray paint it faster. We're looking about five days in order to get this done. Ayer, eh, ayer pedí la, el, el cortador de mitre para cortar el plástico ya con los tubos que tienen que venir aquí adentro entre las materas. Todos los tubos de, de la irrigación que se conecta de una a otra se tienen que cortar, tienen que ser perfecto. Ah, ya, ya eso lo tiene listo. ¿Ah? Ya lo, lo mandó hace atrás. Ya, yeah, ayer lo compré. Yesterday I bought the uh, miter saw. It's coming from the States. So that because all the PCP pipes and everything, PCB, PC, PVC, whatever it's called, the plumbing uh, type plastic uh, tubing uh, has to be cut and it's got to be cut perfect. So we cannot do a hand cut. And so we've got to uh, have a miter saw, 10 inch, coming from the States. It'll be here within two weeks, just in time. Because um, once we get these tubes all painted and everything, they go everywhere you see a wooden stake there on the original first four rows of 50 towers each um, each of these tubes go in and uh, we used a hammer that came from the states and there's a pounder right there and that pounder is what is going to take those babies and bury them into the ground two feet A lot of work, but it's all getting done. We're moving forward. We are moving forward. That's great. Ah, oh, man, it's great to see things moving forward. I don't like to stay in the same place because what happens when you stay in the same place as you were yesterday, then you're living in the past. I like to keep moving forward in the future. So this is beautiful. Ah, this, here's the farm. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And so eventually after we do this, and after I get the planters all that, then I'm going to start ordering the uh, the planters and everything to do the adjoining 200. So we'll have a total of 400 planters, towers. And then after we get that done, we're going to go on this side and we're going to go long ways from here all the way down to the end. And that that's going to hold about another 200 planters. So right here in front of the house, we'll have 600 planters producing 6,000 pounds of tomatoes a week. And, and that's that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. 
and uh, we go from there. Here on this first 200, we're going to do the indeterminate tomatoes, which are tomatoes that keep producing and keep producing, uh, and the plants will last for anywhere from uh, nine months to 12 months. On the adjoining side, we're going to use the determinate uh, tomatoes. We're going to do a test, um, and because uh, in the states the determinates are producing a lot more poundage, so we're going to try it out. We're going to do 200 on that side of determinate tomatoes, and it also opens up the, the varieties of tomatoes that I'll have, because Agri Sud America is going to be the king of tomatoes in Colombia. No one's going to be able to touch us, and we're going to be the best. And so it's going to all move forward really, really nicely. Really, really nicely. And then eventually we'll take the, the lower side, the bottom down here. Okay, we'll grab that one. <coughs> In a year and a half maximum, I'll have that loud. So all this front will be nothing but towers. And then uh, I'm going to start to put this into a greenhouse. A uh, guy's going to come, he's going to put the post, etc. And then uh, as we get closer to planting the seeds and everything, um, th then he'll put the roof on it. But uh, eventually we're, we don't have to put it all up in one day. But we're going to get him to put the post support beams. And then we'll move forward. It's going to be great. Absolutely great.